What are you hearing, Eveline, from patients about unmet needs in narcolepsy? What are patients really looking forward to in the future with uh, the management of narcolepsy, do you think? Well, I think this is just mentioned here. Um, there's always been the complaint, not enough medications available. Um, it takes forever to get approved. So that's also why we've been going to the FDA and ask for uh, the need of more medications. That's really very important. Um, so people have a choice. And as this panel said before, we, we not everything works for everybody. So people need to experiment. It takes a while and uh, it's good there is more of a choice. I think that's really important. What do you find to be the uh, most, most difficult, difficult symptom in the treatment of the narcolepsy, uh, either current or, or Russ? Is it yeah. the cataplexy, the sleepiness? Is it, I think uh, it's, for me anyway, it's the non-specific symptoms of narcolepsy, the fatigue, the what, what's described as brain fog, this difficulty right. thinking, yeah. effortful way of getting out thoughts or speaking um, that seem to be either not studied or, or not uh, responsive to medications that are really functionally limiting to patients. Yeah, my, my experience in, in, re, in our research as well as the clinic is that, uh, and I, this is more anecdotal, is that patients will say, some of these medications you know, keep my eyes open, but I just can't think straight. Yeah. And, and that, uh, so the cognitive complaint that you mentioned, like a, the brain fog is, is pervasive and, and uh, so just staying awake is not enough for these patients. We really need to find a way to get them to be able to overcome the cognitive problems too. Right. I think some of the newer drugs are, are a little bit better from that regard than the, the older ones. Uh, I mean, it, very rarely you hear a patient that's on, say, sodium oxabate who says, look, this has dramatically changed my life and, you know, I, I, I really feel sort of more normal but unfortunately, it doesn't happen a lot, uh, enough, but it does happen occasionally. But uh, with the uh, older drugs, I mean, particularly the amphetamines and methylphenidate, although they help patients to stay awake, patients can still fall asleep, and they've shown that. You have a patient with narcolepsy, you give them amphetamines, even high doses, and high doses of methylphenidate, and then you put them in a darkened room and turn the lights out, and they're asleep right away. And And I think... Part of this may explain some of that sort of background cognitive impairment because the patients are able to do things better with these medications, but there's still that background pressure for sleep that doesn't go. And so hopefully in the future, uh, the drugs will be more effective at actually eliminating that pressure for sleep that's in the background, even though they are seemingly more, more awake.